Ukraine speaks out after Wagner announced withdrawal from Bakhmut. Ukraine believes that Wagner's decision to withdraw from Bakhmut could be a turning point for the war here. If they don't change their mind and don't find ways to replenish their forces, I think this could be considered a turning point in the Bakhmut war. Wagner was the key force that fought in Bakhmut for nine months, said Serhiy Cherevetyi, spokesperson for the Eastern Military District of Ukraine, commented. Mr. Cherevatyi said that the reason Wagner suffered great losses in Bakhmut was because they continuously sent forces into the battlefield. If Wagner continues to lose more than 100 members a day, they will not be able to make up their forces. Wagner will be destroyed near Bakhmut. That's why, Wagner leader, Prigoshin wants to withdraw, or find a way. Withdraw their troops, because if this situation continues, they only have a few weeks to hold out, Cherevetyi said. The comments came just hours after the head of Russia's private military group Wagner Yevgeny Prigoshin announced that it would withdraw its troops from Bakhmut on May 10 due to lack of ammunition. On behalf of Wagner soldiers, I declare that on May 10, we were forced to hand over our positions in Bakhmut to units of the Russian Defense Ministry and withdraw the remaining Wagner forces to their base. Logistics to stabilize the ranks. Our soldiers will not suffer meaningless, unreasonable losses in Bakhmut because there is no ammunition, Mr. Prigoshin said. Mr. Prigoshin repeatedly criticized the Russian Defense Ministry for not providing enough ammunition for Wagner to fight in Bakhmut. However, Mr. Cherevatyi said that this may not be the reason why Wagner decided to withdraw from Bakhmut. There is no shortage of ammunition. In the past day alone, our positions in Bakhmut have received 520 rocket attacks and six airstrikes. So this, lack of ammunition, is not true. I think he is looking for a reason to withdraw from the battlefield after suffering great losses, unable to perform other tasks, unable to make up for his forces, said Mr. Cherevatyi. According to Cherevatyi, if Wagner withdraws from Bakhmut, the number of attacks against Ukraine there will be reduced because the regular Russian army will not accept the same level of human loss as Wagner. Wagner has been a key force in Russia's effort to seize control of Bakhmut since last summer. Ukraine's Deputy Defense Minister Hanna Malier assessed that Russia is trying to send Wagner soldiers from other fronts to Bakhmut with the aim of taking complete control of the city before the anniversary of Victory Day on May 9. However, according to Western media, the relationship between Wagner and the Russian Defense Ministry has been strained many times. Wagner criticized Moscow for not responding adequately to the need for weapons and underestimating its role. Boss Wagner warned, if they withdrew from Bakhmut, the entire Russian front line here would collapse.